So for question number six, I write down the first four terms of the binomial expansion of one minus x exponent six in ascending powers of x. I I, we are to use the expansion in I to find correct to two decimal places an approximate value of 0 0.996 raised to the power 6. So let's solve for i. So from the question, we are going to find the first four terms of the binomial expansion of 1 minus x exponent 6 in the ascending powers of x. Now, if n is any rational value, positive or negative, from negative 1 through to 1, then the general binomial, that is 1 plus x exponent n, is given by 1 plus nx plus n into bracket n minus 1 times x square over 2 factorial plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times x cube over 3 factorial and so on and so forth. However, we are interested in the first four terms. So we are going to end here. So 1 plus x exponent n is equal to 1 minus x exponent 6. So it means that n is 6 and then instead of x here we have negative x so wherever we see x in this expansion we are going to replace it with a negative x so the expansion for 1 minus x exponent 6 is equal to 1 plus we have n to be 6 so 6 times negative x plus 6 into bracket 6 minus 1 times negative x square divided by 2 factorial plus 6 into bracket 6 minus 1 times 6 minus 2 times negative x cube all over 3 factorial. So let's simplify this expression. So we have 1 minus 6x plus 6 into bracket 5 because 6 minus 1 is 5 times x squared divided by 2 factorial is 1 times 2 which is 2 plus we have 6 into bracket 6 minus 1 is 5 6 minus 2 is 4 and then we have negative x cube divided by 3 factorial 3 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 which is 6 so this further becomes 1 minus 6x plus now 2 goes into itself once into 6 3 times so we have 3 times 5 which is 15 times x squared so that is 15 x square and then here also 6 cancels out 6 we are left with 5 times 4 which is 20 times negative x cube so we have minus 20 x cube so this is the expansion for 1 minus x exponent 6 this is the binomial expansion for 1 minus x exponent 6 so let's solve for i i so we have 0 0.996 exponent 6 and then we are going to represent that as 1 minus x exponent 6. So this becomes 1 minus 0 0.004 exponent 6. So to find the value of x, basically I'm going to subtract 0 0.996 from 1. Okay, and so the value that you get is the value that is going to be in place of x. So we've been able to represent 0 0.996 exponent 6 in the form 1 minus x all exponent 6. So now let's find an approximate value of 
0.996 exponent 6. So using this same expansion, we are going to substitute 0.004 in place of x. So we say that 0.996 exponent 6, which is equal to 1 minus 0.004 exponent 6 is equal to 1 minus 6x plus 15x squared minus 20x cubed. So since we have the value of x to be 0.004, we are going to substitute this value into this expansion. So this is equal to 1 minus 6 times 0 0.004 plus 15 times 0 0.004 all square minus 20 times 0 0.004 cube. So let's simplify. So this is 1 minus 6 times 0 0.004 becomes 0 0.024. Now this becomes 0 0.0024 and then minus 0 0.00000128. So when you simplify, you have the value to be 0 0.976238.72. So leaving our answer in two decimal places, then it's equal to 0 0.98. So the approximate value of 0 0.996 to the power 6 in two decimal places is 0 0.98. So for question number 7, the lines 3x plus 2y minus 1 equals 0 and 4x plus 5y plus 3 equals 0 intersect at M. Find the A coordinates of m and then b the equation of the line through m parallel to the line 3x minus 4y plus 7 equals 0. Now we have two lines 3x plus 2y minus 1 equals 0 and then 4x plus 5y plus 3 equals 0 and then we are told that they intersect at m. So we are going to find the point of intersection of these two lines. Now we can do this using the graphical method. That is where you draw the two lines and then you find or you locate where the two lines intersect. However, we can solve these two equations simultaneously and then the x and the y value will be the point where the two lines intersect or they meet. So let's solve these two equations simultaneously. So we have 3x plus 2y minus 1 equals 0. Let's call this equation 1. And then we also have 4x plus 5y plus 3 equals 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now let's make x the subject from equation 1. So from equation 1, we have 3x equals 1 minus 2y. We divide through by 3. And then we have x equals 1 minus 2y over 3. Let's call this equation 3. Now we are going to put equation 3 into equation 2. So this is equation 2, we have 4 times 1 minus 2y divided by 3 plus 5y plus 3 equals 0. So now to do away with the 3, with the fraction, we need to multiply each term by 3. So when you do that, that's going to be 3 times 4 into brackets. 1 minus 2y over 3 plus 
3 times 5y plus 3 times 3 equals 0. Okay, 0 times 3 is also 0. So this cancels out this and then we have 4 minus 8y plus 15y plus 9 equals 0. Now we have negative 8y and then 15y. So negative 8 plus 15 is 7. So this is 7y plus 9 equals 0. 4 plus 9 is 13. So we transpose 13 to the right hand side. We have 7y equals negative 13. We divide through by 7. And then we have the value of y to be negative 13 over 7. So this is the value of y. So to find the value of x from equation 3, we had x to be 1 minus 2y over 3. So in place of y, we write negative 13 over 7, all divided by 3. So x is equal to 1 minus, now negative 2 times negative 13 is plus 26. So divided by 7, all over 3. So this becomes 1 plus 26 over 7. And then we want to find the LCM. So LCM is 7. 7 divided by 1 is 7. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 26 is 26. So 7 plus 26 is equal to 33. So we have 33 over 7. Now this value divided by 3. So it becomes 33 over 7 times 1 over 3. 3 goes into itself once into 33 11 times. So we have 11 over 7. That is the value of x. So we have x equals 11 over 7. So the point of intersection M is 11 over 7, negative 13 over 7. This is the point of intersection. Now let's find the equation of the line through M that is parallel to the line 3x minus 4y plus 7. So to find the equation of the line through M parallel to the line 3x minus 4y plus 7 equals 0. It means that the two lines have the same gradient. So to find the equation of the new line, we need to find the gradient for this line or of this line. And that will be the same gradient value for the equation that we are trying to find. So to find the gradient value, we need to represent this equation in the form y equals mx plus c. So we transpose negative 4y to the right hand side. We have 3x plus 7 equals 4y. We divide through by 4. And then we have y equals 3 over 4x plus 7 over 4. Now when you compare this equation with this equation, you realize that the value of m, which is the gradient, is 3 over 4. So we have m to be 3 over 4. Now this gradient value is the same as the gradient value for the line that we are looking for, the equation that we are looking for. So using this formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We have m to be 3 over 4. We also have x1, y1 to be 11 over 7, and then negative 13 over 7. So we are going to substitute these values into this equation. So y minus y1, y1 is negative 13 over 7, equals 3 over 4 times x minus 11 over 7. Now the LCM between 4 and 7 is 28. So we are going to multiply each of the terms by 28.
so we have 28y minus 7 goes into itself once into 28 four times so this becomes plus 13 times 4 now 13 times 4 is 52 and this is equal to 4 goes into itself once into 28 7 times so we have 3 times 7 which is 21 into bracket x minus 11 over 7 now let's multiply 21 across so we have 28y plus 52 equals 21x minus 21 divided by 7 is 3 so 3 times 11 is 33 so let's simplify this so we have 28y you transpose 21x to the left hand side so minus 21x plus 52 plus 33 equals 0 28y minus 21x plus 52 plus 33 is 85 so this is the equation of the line through m and then parallel to the line 3x minus 4y plus 7 equals 0